The Vice President Major Jessica Lupo has commissioned the second electricity substation in Arua to enhance transmission of electricity to West Nile region. Electricity will not be adequate for the manufacturing industries at that time. Therefore, government is scaling up investment in new generation capacity because of the increasing industrialization. Uganda is in the preliminary stages of developing its nuclear energy program. We need nuclear energy for peaceful application in health, trade, agriculture, and power generation. The substation is part of the Kole Gulu Nebi Arua 289-kilometer transmission line which connects the West Nile region to the National Electricity Transmission Grid. The project is expected to further facilitate power trade in the region. Our neighboring countries which are faced with power constraints, the DRC and South Sudan, this line will provide opportunities for power trade and also strengthen regional integration. The Uganda Electricity Transmission Company Limited and the World Bank are the major implementers of this project which has cost government 100 million US dollars. The two transformers each with capacity of 40 MVA have been installed. This project will boost social economic growth in the regional in in the region enhancing industrial growth both small scale and large scale agricultural modernization and improvement in provision of public services. The 132 kV Kole Gulu Nebi and Arua transmission will reinforce the power supply in West Nile and Northern Uganda, connect West Nile to the national grid, and is also pivotal as UATCL prepares for regional interconnection through the East African power pool. The government is also set to accelerate projects aimed at connecting last mile power consumers as well as improving wealth creation initiatives to balance power supply and demand. Today, Government has made it easy for us, one, to attract processing plants, to attract industries, and these industries will create jobs for our people. Men have come and formed an already established policy of electricity connectivity. The policy of connecting all district headquarters when you are a baby district, you are assured that that district is going to be connected because it is our policy. The West Nile community has commended government for fulfilling its commitment and has requested for further support to extend power to remote districts to boost factors of production and value addition in the region. Do our sub-counties have electricity? Do our health center falls have electricity? Do our health center trees have electricity? Do our secondary schools and primary schools have electricity? Do the social centers, like trading centers, have electricity? Districts like Obongi will have to wait a bit longer as government secures funding for power extension. We must have a backbone there within. But for Obongi, where they don't have any power, how can you benefit on a short connection? So we have to establish the network first, and then we can use part of this to do short, you know, entrances into Obongi. The 132 kV stroke 33 kV infrastructure commissioned will evacuate power from the generation plants of Karuma, Agago, Achua, Nyagak 1 and 3 to meet the region's unserved demands. Story compiled by Nasil Luwama for UBC News.